So, how are you finding Canberra? Yeah, I love it here. Obviously, great facilities, British weather, so <laughs> yeah, I'm really looking forward to the game. I guess, um, how are the boys preparing for the, for the match on Wednesday? Yeah, we've been back in, in pre-season now, five or six weeks. Um, so yeah, look, we've, we've been training hard and, and, and this is going to be a, another trial game for us. Um, but again, it's got a good meaning behind it as well. All-Stars game and, and, and have a look at all the, the players in Canberra. Um, that's been, I guess, the, the thing that's been said that obviously gives those local players a, a chance to kind of get their name out there and, and get on your radar and the Mariners Rainers and A-League men's radars, I guess. Um, are you expecting a hard-fought game and, and what are you hoping to get out of it? The... Yeah, lucky in my time at the Mariners, we've always had some good kid, kids from Canberra. You know, Mikey Katsoulis, one of them, he's, uh, he's had a bit of a tough time lately, but um, you know, there's probably five or six boys that have come from Canberra over the last couple of years that, that I've been at the club. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's never an easy game. You know, it's 11 against 11. No one's got superpowers. It's, uh, and, and, and it's never easy to break down 11 players if they try and defend. And, and again, key moments in the game. You always have to be careful because yeah, free kicks, corners, um, you know, unpredictable. It's an unpredictable game, but you know, we just concentrate on the process and that's focusing on us. And yeah, we expect a tough game tomorrow. Is it nice for you guys just to get away as well and have a day or two to shake up free kicks? Yeah, of course. It's obviously, uh, you know, we're, we're training hard every day in uh, our home training base. So when you get the opportunity to come away, it's good team bonding. Um, and, and yeah, the boys, the boys uh, always like being away. And then we've got a lot, very, a lot of young players as well, so there's not many that have got kids. Um, so there's no wives uh, uh, complaining that, that we've taken the husband away. So we're pretty fortunate in that area. I guess um, Canberra's no stranger for the Mariners. Um, love, would you like to be back down here and, and playing a few more proper A-League games in the future? Yeah, look, we, again, we've, we, we took a game out to Mudgee last year. I, I, when, when I was a player here, I remember playing a game down here. So I think it's always good for A-League clubs, not just the Mariners, to take games regional, you know, to, to, to places where they possibly don't have A-League teams because I think, you know, it's, it's the best game in the world and the A-League's a good competition. So it should showcase and as well, you know, inspire the kids of them areas to one day want to play in the A-League and if we can do that, then I think that's that's a good thing that the league can do. Yeah, what do you think the, the Capital Football Boys can, I guess, learn from the Mariners squad tomorrow? Yeah, look again, you know, like I said, no one's got superpowers, you know, there's, there's plenty of talented players all over the world that for some one reason or another don't make it to the professional level and, and, and most of it is the mentality and the sacrifice and the effort that you have to put in. So again, we're a club that we, we have a scouting network that I put in place many years ago with my assistant Sergio and from there we've, you know, we've had some good players come from all over the country, Melbourne, Queensland, um, Canberra and, and you know, some that have now gone on to play to be sold by the club overseas to top European clubs, um, you know, Alou Kowal being one of them. We signed him from Melbourne, three, three clubs in Melbourne, nobody took him and within 12 months he's, we sold him at Stuttgart and he's in and around the first team there now and uh, I'm sure everyone's seen the hype around his brother as well who's just a, a kid at the minute um, but yeah he's, he's a very talented player and we've got many many more in the academy that have come from interstate as well so it's, uh, it's a good opportunity for them. Yeah, look, we uh, our MPL boys are in in finals football as well at the minute, so we brought a small squad here. Um, we left quite a few of the younger boys that have been in and around the first team to train because they've got a massive game coming up on the weekend. So yeah, you know, it's it's good opportunity for the first team boys to get minutes tomorrow. Um, but yeah, happy with pre-season. We've had some good results. Unfortunately, we missed out against Sydney on penalties, um, but we're two weeks into pre-season, and that game when that game came, but I was super proud with the effort of the boys and. And, and again, very young team, um, and, and yeah, we've uh, we've got plenty more games to come now, and it's just a case of getting as many games as we can and, and getting minutes into the legs. So come round one against the Jets, the boys are fully prepared. I guess, can you? How do you prepare for a game like Wednesday's? I mean, it's a bit unknown. You guys don't really know what's coming on the other side. Um, how do you kind of prepare as a coach for, and prepare the team for that? Ah, look, you know, there's going to be 11 players trying to impress, and, and probably five or six coming off the bench. So. You know, I remember when I was a kid and you get to play in a trial game, you know, it's, you know, it's your opportunity to shine and that's why you look at all around the world, the, the FA Cup games, you know, the league games where top top t tier teams play lower league opposition and it's never easy. That's why there's always a lot of upsets because, again, it always depends how you turn up on the day and, 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 and yeah, look, we expect, like I said, we expect a good game tomorrow and 11 players trying to impress and no doubt more coming off the bench, so it's our job to to do what we do and that's to perform to, to the best of our ability and use it as a, as a, a game for us to progress in our pre-season um, training. I guess 
is it going to be hard to coach and also keep an eye on the All Stars and, and have a look at the, the upcoming talent, or have you got someone set aside on, on your bench to kind of keep that eye on them? No, look, you you know you can see talent when when you see talent, and that's the, the way that the, the the player you know approaches the game. But look, every game's filmed, and we do a lot of video analysis. So when when you know, when we finish the game, we cut that up. We look at that individually and collectively, and, and yeah, so you know, they'll definitely be looking at the game after as well. And, and, and yeah, we're always looking for, for talent outside the club.